Hey everybody, Shabu here. Back from the video and today, I'll be showing you how to make a spinning part in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your part. So I have a part right here and I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So I'll make it about this big. Next, we're going to go to view at the top, open up explorer and properties, and then we're going to right click the part, insert object, and then insert a attachment. Next, we're going to do the same for the terrain here. So right click terrain, insert object, and then insert a attachment. Now you're going to want to go back to home and use the moving tools. You can also find these in model, and you're going to want to go to the, the attachment in terrain. And then, just, and then just move it to around where you want the part to be at. So I'm going to move it right here. Because this is where I want the part to spin at. And you can basically just move the part to the general position. Because it will be moved there later on. Next we're going to get our hinge constraint. So right click on, right -click on the part. Insert object. And then insert a hinge constraint. This is what's going to be spinning the part. Now once you've selected hinge constraint. You can go to the properties here and then set attachment 0 to the one in the part and then attachment 1 to the one in terrain or the other way around I'll do it for the other way around and then actuator type set this to motor and then the speed that you want so I'll do 4 and then the amount of force it'll use so I'll just put a huge number it might need more force if it's like a giant object but you should only need like this much and then next you're going to want to rotate the attachment a bit because this would have it rotating in this direction as you can see here from this arrow here it would rotate like that but we want it to just spin so I'm going to use the rotate option at the top here and I'm going to rotate it to face upwards and then as you can see that's the new spinning direction and that is the way it'll spin and after you rotated your attachment you're going to go to the attachment inside of the part and you're going to want to make sure the arrows match. So as you can see, the arrows that are right here are matching. So you can see this one is matching with it. If they are not matching, you're going to want to rotate it around so it's matching. I don't think this orange arrow matters. And now if I press play, as you can see, the part is spinning around where the hinge is located. You can do this in other directions too and stuff. And it will never get out of this position. And that's how you make a spinning part in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.